<laughs> there you go. Uh, what can you say? Ronaldo to the rescue. That is it, simply, isn't it? My God, did we need something now. The fan base needed that there. The crowd needed that there. The guy next to me left when Fred came on. He said to me, I've had enough. Fred's coming on. That's it for me. See you later, mate. We're just waiting for that moment in the end there, won't we? Like I said at the start of the game, the most important thing about tonight, the win. My God, that was massive for Ole. Just to keep us in position in this group. I mean, if it carried on the way it was, we'd have drawn that game, we'd have been coming out here and we'd all been worrying. We'd have been thinking, Thursday night is a reality. It really is. Thankfully, you know what? We threw caution to the wind in the air. In the end then, looking forward, it was like a chef who'd run out of ideas. In the end, Ollie just threw all the spices in the pot and just hope for luck, basically. We had Fred on the wing at one point, Cavani one side, Ronaldo the other. I didn't know where anyone was playing. All it was was just throw it into the mixer and let's just make something out of it. And it just it came off for us. And you know what, right tonight, we put the Champions League to bed now for a few weeks and the emotions running high right now. Another last minute winner, Ronaldo gets it. Viva Ronaldo, it's buzzing out here right now. We've just got to put that aside as cameraman just gets absolutely blown away. <laughs> Sorry about the jump, but that's the excitement levels right here, right now. It's absolutely buzzing. We needed him tonight, we got him. You could have said he could have been brought off easily because he wasn't influencing the game. And then the argument of leave Ronaldo on because moments like that come around and when the chance is there and he's in the right position, that's what counts. That's where it was, that's where he earns his money. He breaks the appearance record tonight, scores another Champions League goal. First Champions League game under the lights for Ronaldo tonight. We talked about it before the game. It was his night and in the end he's going to take the headlines. But dissecting that game is a totally different ball game. Because first half, you could easily say that United should have been put to bed. And there's another shout out here. This isn't the Ronaldo show today. This is the David De Gea show. I said it half time to a guy behind me. I said, look, I said, David De Gea is, is a brilliant piece of paper. A very strong piece of paper, which covers over an awful lot of cracks. This is the David De Gea that I knew three years ago at United. The best keeper in the world. He is back to his best. We dissect that game. Villarreal win it, it's as simple as that. David De Gea saved us. Ronaldo takes the headlines. De Gea's a hero. It, that's all there is to say about it. It was a makeshift sort of defence tonight and they carved us open in the first half, literally at will. And it's a big worry going forward. The three points is going to cover up an awful lot tonight for us, but it's put us in a very good position now, a more comfortable position where we can look at a weekend now against Everton, try and do the same, get a result in the bag, move on to international break, and it's not all as bad. It's not rosy, it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. It was a lot wrong with tonight. Pretty much all of the game was wrong tonight for United, apart from the end. Reaction United again, reaction FC. As soon as Real scored, we came alive. Then we scored, got the equaliser, absolute moment of brilliance. Bit of industry from Greenwood, clever from Bruno, absolutely outstanding finish from Telles. Superb, one of the best goals I've seen here at Old Trafford, that. That technique was on point. Brilliant goal. Moment of brilliance, you could say, again, yeah. But you still got to create it, and that we did create, it was clever. Bruno played the ball over, Telles put it in the wet, put it in the net. Then we ran off adrenaline for about 20 minutes. It died off. Villarreal was still dangerous. We struggled. We did struggle. Matic come on, Fred on. We we're all trying to figure out what all he's doing. In the end, we just had, and it sounds harsh, we just had a lot of quality players on the pitch and a couple of them stepped forward. Cavani on the left wing. Cavani on the left wing. I mean, that sounds crazy on its own. We thought he'd lost it. He battled on like Cavani does, never say die attitude. And in the end, that know-how, that need to win spirit, that I am not going to go down without a fight attitude from the likes of Cavani and Ronaldo. The old heads, the masters, they got us that goal in the end there. Jesse Lingard, for the little moment he played, did good for us. Super sub Lingard again. Industrious. You know what I mean? He did, he played his part. The big, big concerns are still there. But tonight we just need to just sit back and go, thank God that we got that win. Ollie's there in the dressing room going, thank God. 
because like I said Villarreal should have been winning this game but for David De Gea doing his job expertly we'd have been in big trouble tonight I understand defence coming in three changes it is what it is but De Gea's there he's back to his best and that's what won us the game today I'm going to keep saying it and keep saying it I'm not being blown away by the whole Ronaldo thing it's brilliant that's what he's going to give us this season the moments that we need the moments when we need the big names he's going to come through for us we knew this because he did nothing else in the game really until it really, until it really mattered when it mattered he was there but the bigger issue I think now is figuring out how we move forward from this hopefully we can use a bit of momentum use it in the best possible way because I'm still absolutely petrified about how we move forward with this team because he said that was Villarreal's game we have to sort the midfield out it's just not there at all the midfield is dissected every single time ill discipline in positions Pogba don't know where he was playing I wasn't surprised he was brought off McTominay left on his own most of the time I didn't know if it was Bruno playing deeper or Pogba playing deeper it was all over the shop and then in the end I think it was that messed up Villarreal didn't know who to mark either and the craziness of it won us the game in the end you can't say that was through pure tactics you can't say it was through pure changes well in a way you could because we just threw everything at it we threw everyone on and hoped that something would happen it did happen that's not going to win us this competition but it's kept us in this competition and tonight that's what we're going to have to accept and that's what we needed we needed a result that was more important than anything the result was everything tonight I'm just going to go away happy that we got it we finally got some goals at Old Trafford we nearly went three games there without a goal at Old Trafford we finally beat Villarreal we scored two goals past them in what six appearances against them I think first time we've scored two goals past Villarreal we know they're a tough cooker nice to get a little bit of revenge nice that it was Moreno who gave the foul away and we got the goal for the equaliser from it little sweet things there there tonight hopefully we can use a little bit momentum wise and go forward from here but we've got a lot to learn from tonight that wasn't a perfect game that was that was just a result that was needed and that's what we got result in the bag brilliant stuff still in the Champions League thank God Thursday nights are still off the calendar and we move on from here guys let me know what you thought about that was it different from what I was watching there because we struggled in big parts of that game we got the result and that's all that matters get your comments in below United move on thank God guys cheers for watching